This Christmas, my dad got me a new camera, but instead of using it for personal use, making vlogs, and going around taking pictures, I decided there could be a complete other usage for that camera. So I decided to do something with my life and I decided to try and start my own small business making videos and content for businesses out there. Now, I just finished my first video in terms of business. It may just be my very first video, but let me tell you how one video, my very first video, could change my whole career as a business filmmaker forever. To earn more money as a business filmmaker, we're gonna need more and more clients, but to have more and more clients, we're gonna have to first have higher credibility and a higher publicity rate. Because we are starting off from, from nothing, our credibility is very low. We don't have any established point for people to see and people don't know what to expect. And our publicity is very minimal because the only people who know us are also the people we know. So unless you are very close friends with a very big company or something like that, you're gonna be running off just by knowing the people you know. And that'll be the only way you'll find clients. Being able to make my very first video for my very first client, I was able to establish an expectation point for different businesses out there. Now, when this video goes out to the public, both personal and corporate businesses out there will see it. And like what we were talking about, publicity will go along with that. Now see, this is where working for free or working at a minimal cost is very, very important. Peter McKinnon many months ago made a video on why working for free is something very smart and why every filmmaker starting their own business should do this. But basically, he explains that because you are offering your business for a very low cost, for example, or for free, many, many businesses that you inquire for are gonna end up being more attracted to the cost of your production. Because the rate you offer is low or if you offer it for free, none, more businesses will be attracted to it. So because of that, you're already creating a bigger chance for yourself of collecting more and more clientele. Beginning somewhere as something small gives us a chance to put our foot in the soil and for us to show the people what we can do as time goes on. Now, as a beginning business filmmaker, I've personally learned that working at a low cost, if not for free, it's only a really, really big chance for a break. Lucky for me, this first client of mine was someone I knew personally. And this someone I knew personally had goals for me as a small business. And coincidentally, the goals that this person had aligned perfectly with the goals I had for myself. And it's important to have people in your life that have the same goal orientation as you do, because when other people start helping you achieve your own goal, you're already one step closer to the top. So what's up next for you and I to do? Well, it's time for us to go outside, talk to people and grow relationships by offering content and publicity for others, commercials, advertisement, maybe some product photography, but giving content to different people for a low price helps build relationships. And these people eventually tell other people about what you have done for them in terms of advertisement and for marketing. And when you know more and more people and your relationships grow bigger and bigger, the clientele will just come in. Now these steps I tell you, I try to, I try to apply it to myself too as a starting business filmmaker. Because of what I did last month, I am now able to make this video for you guys. And because I am able to make this video for you guys, I can now also say, this has been Love and Altman. Tune in next weekend for another video. Thank you for joining me this week where we're aligning passion and our dreams. Don't go anywhere. See you next time. Peace.